Hey you all and welcome back to another video. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't already. Also, if you'd like to purchase some shirts, the DLC store link is always in the description down below. Okay, so Disney Princess Sleeping Beauty. Chaos in the kitchen. Now, now, dearie, said Flora to little Aurora. It's time for your nap. Flora had just given the baby her bottle and settled her in her cradle. Time to make supper, Flora said to Fauna and Meriwether, turning away from the snoozing baby prince, princess and clapping her hands together purposely. Purposefully, <laughs> the three friends gave each other uneasy grins. It was the first meal they had to prepare in the little cottage in the woods, where they would live until Aurora's 16th birthday. In order to keep Aurora well hidden, the three friends had vowed to give up their magic wands and live as ordinary humans. But none of them had ever cooked, cleaned, or cared for a baby before. This was going to be quite an adventure. I should cook a stew, said Meriwether. The others thought that was a wonderful idea. Stew sounded hearty and delicious. What a cozy meal for their first night in the cottage. I'll bake some blueberry biscuits and mashed the potatoes, said Flora. Are you sure you know how? asked Fla Fauna. How hard could it be, said Flora. Fauna, why don't you make a salad to go with Meriwether's stew? I'll try, said Fauna brightly. Soon Meriwether was chopping meat and vegetables. Flora was mixing flour and water, and Fauna was slicing and dicing the salad vegetables. An hour later, dinner was still. An hour later, dinner still wasn't ready. Meriwether's stew smelled like old boots. <laughs> old boots. <laughs> Flora opened the oven and pulled out her biscuits, which were as flat as pancakes. The mashed potatoes were terribly lumpy, and somehow most of the salad greens had ended up on the floor. The three fairies looked at one another in dismay. Back to the drawing board, girls, said Flora. But let's not be too hard on ourselves. After all, we've got 16 years to learn how to cook without magic. And that's how long it's going to take, replied Fauna. Meriwether laughed. Fauna was obviously joking, wasn't she? The end.